degraded and humiliated and broke my spirit. That is literally my pickup truck. <laughs> like, I don't even have to give 100% dick. Like, so. I'm a pillow princess. He's a pillow Welcome back, everybody. That should be... Oh, did it, what did it not say? It might not have said... Did it say music by Sesh? Sesh bass? I don't know if it said that in the final second there. No. I had to, I had to re redo it. Uh, I, there was a little uh, edit from last week. It all fucked up. But shout out. Sesh bass. Appreciate the music there. Always coming through with the come, with the hots. I love it. I may have to hit you up for some drops, too, because I, I need drops. But we'll figure that out later. This is episode 56. We got not DMV underscore SM. I'm not him. Bro. I'm not him. Bro. Uh, if you don't recognize, we also got, uh, well, this is Sam. Uh, zoom in on the board. Boom. That's Sam. Uh, we got DeConte on the uh, producer mic today because yep. Ricky says he's pulling a birdo, I think. Um, he's quitting in like two months, so we'll figure uh, it out. Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. He got caught up in a job. Birdo, we still love you. Um, anyways. Yeah, no. So DMV SM, let's actually talk about that. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy, dude. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. So I've been watching the podcast for, mm -hmm. for a while, and I've actually, I actually don't have like a YouTube account. Mm -hmm. So like, I just get on and watch as a viewer. I do have a YouTube account now, and I am subscribed. But um, I was getting messages from like Andy, Birdo, and even Isaac mm -hmm. about this guy sending like wild comments wild. on <laughs> on wild. all of the videos. <laughs> wow. So I remember like the first time it came about, yeah. uh, Andy had actually texted me and she was like, yeah, I think I'm sitting here talking to Isaac and are you the guy like under the, the comment section? Like, because we're laughing about it. Yeah, like, we, yeah. we read it as DMV Sam and we're like, oh, Sam. Okay, that makes sense. We know a Sam. But continue. Yeah, and even Birdo messaged me one time and was like, "Hey, like, uh, I thought you were like scheduled to like, like, come on." He's like, "You're DMV SM," and I'm like, "Nah, man, that's that's not me." So I'm like, I'm I'm like super curious. So I like go like looking at the comment section in the videos. This guy's and, like, <laughs> I hear him talking. About, I like see him talking about Ricky, and I'm like, "Whoa, yeah, that's, that's yeah." Not, he that's hates Ricky. <laughs> I had to like he clear talking my shit name about Ricky. too. He, he like, like talking shit about Birdo. He like talking shit about. He talks yeah. shit about all of us. He's one of our bigger. Damn, friends. that's crazy. Yeah. YouTube troll for yeah. real. Oh, yeah. like, YouTube that was, that was he was heavy on that. For you know, like, yeah, for a solid like two months, every comment was like, "Ricky, did you smash that? <laughs> did you hit that, Shelly? Did you rearrange her guts?" And I'm like, "Man, I hate for a female. I like no female wants to come on the show and get harassed by DMV SM. Yeah. I still love you, but like I'm a wild guy, but I'm not that guy. <laughs> well, one of the main reasons, and you and I talked about this. Uh, one of the main reasons we thought it was you because, uh, you know, um, but. You're sober now. We can say that. Um, back when you were drinking, I remember one night at Tandoori. Um, shout out Tandoori. Shout out Susio Sundays. Uh, we Susio were there. Sundays. Yeah, yeah. We we were there. Fucking DJ, DJ Brian was spinning. Fat Boy was on the Brian. mic. Ora, ora, los bargos, los bargos in the buildings. I'm like, yo, what's up, what's up? You came up. You're like, yo, bargos, what's up, dog? I'm like, yo, what's good? How you doing, Sam? You gotta get me on the show. I was like, let you on the show, man. Hey, you the dude who's been commenting? You Sam? You're like, yeah, I'm Sam. We're like, oh, DMV Sam. You're like, oh, I mean, no, I'm Alexandria, but DMV, yeah, DMV. It was like, okay, oh, you're, you're DMV Sam. So that's how like we thought. You had said you, you, we thought you confirmed you were him. Mm. So we were like, oh, yeah, 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 Sam. We know Sam. Fucking Ricky's on the show. And he's like, oh, say, oh, that's Sam? Why is Sam so pressed? I've yeah. had this YouTube alias now for mm. like months. It's right. had to be like six plus months. Like mm. people yeah. have thought, like, I'm this guy. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, but you know, shout out to uh, Andy. Says she'll never come back on the show. Um, <laughs> she, she was like, Sam? I was like, yeah, Sam. Like, because she was with the Malal episode. And Malal knows you really well. I didn't know you knew Andy at all. And then Andy was like, oh, I mean, I know him a little bit, you know. You know. Yeah, we know each other a little bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, she no, she was like, that does. She's like, that's not, that's not him. I was like, what do you mean that's not him? She's like, I can, I can read it. That's not his voice. And I was like, you can read you. No, you can't tell. Tell it's a YouTube comment where he's making fun of somebody. He's like, he, he don't talk like that. And I was like, you're dumb. He told me to my face. And then yeah, come to find out, yeah, Andy was right. So. Hey. So you never commented on any of the videos? No, I didn't no. even have an account to comment. Ah, oh, gotcha. <laughs> He's not even from the DMV. He's Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
Jesus. Uh, yeah, so you know, that that had happened. We were like, oh, shit. And we just found that out like a month ago, but it's been a year, almost, a yeah. little over a year now of just thinking that you were this guy and we're like, ha, yeah, oh, had, like, Sam, just being funny old yeah, Sam. Yeah, I thought it was you too because you, uh, you were or, telling me about the comment. Yeah, Four different thought, people, yeah. man, like just blow my blow my inbox up. Like, yo, is this you? Because these comments are pretty wild. Yeah, man. he's, yeah, he's uh, salacious. Like, no. yeah. <laughs> like, I'd rather just yeah. say it to you in person. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Like, I don't like to beat around the bush. Right. Shout out DMV uh, SM, whoever you are. SM. Yeah, man, you you, oh, you caused a little stir. You <laughs> yeah, kept everybody in a team oh, yeah, for a couple yeah, yeah. months. Like. Hey, you're keeping us in the algorithm. You know, when we hit oh, 200 yeah. views, it's because you. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, that's yeah, that's some wild shit. Wanted to address that. <laughs> um, so, how how you boys been? How, how's your week? Well, today is uh, today is Eid al Adha. Okay. So um, today is uh, essentially the uh, the sacrificial holiday. Um, mm. And yeah, so is this the one that I see when people come in like Yad Mubarak or whatever that is? Yeah, so okay. it's basically like you know, like it's essentially like a happy holiday, mm. um, and it's it's cool. You know, it's actually like really humbling. Like mm. today, uh, normally we pray at the mosque on Hodley. I'd normally go up there on Fridays. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, yeah, um, Darl Noor and like. The crowd expectancy was like massive, oh, and like wow. the mosque itself only mm-hmm. has like three hundred parking spaces, and I think it can house close to like seven hundred people. So mm-hmm. they ended up having to do it at the uh, Old Potomac National Stadium. Oh damn! Yeah, so wow. like I'm like, and that's like right up the street from my house. So I'm getting up to like leave at like nine thirty, and the prayers at ten. Mm-hmm. And you just I mean, the like, going. Dude, the the line in the traffic was just like crazy, and mm. it, was, it was wild because I'd never seen like I knew like the community is really big, mm. but I had no idea like locally it was as big as it was. Like we had something close to like, like yeah. twelve hundred people wow. praying in this baseball stadium. It was actually really nice too. They That's had a wild. lot of different like speakers, delegates, mm. and like public figures like in the community come out and talk. So like that was that was real cool. And then you know I brought out like. You know, like my prayer rug, and we were just praying out on the field. And ironically enough, like that stadium was the first place I was ever employed. Like I worked at wow. Potomac National Stadium as my first job. I think I was like, I had just turned sixteen, and I worked parking and ground. So I was that guy with the fucking uh, with the flag, like <laughs> walking <laughs> around, like and it free was, parking. Oh my god, it was the worst job ever. I think I made like sixty three dollars my first paycheck. Oh my god! And like god. it would that rain. was eight shifts. Oh my, <laughs> like four or five shifts. Oh like god. it was like yeah. nothing. You got like paid like seven dollars an hour, mm-hmm. and like it would rain. They make you stand out there and rain. They oh, just drive god. by on a golf cart and give you a poncho and be like, "You'll be okay. <laughs> like, You'll be good. You'll be good. Th- keep making us money, man." Oh Minimum wage is great for you guys. It's an entry level job. Jeez, yeah, I remember those guys. I remember being like, "Hey, the parking that our general missions over there." I was like, "Yeah, but where's the uh, here's a five dollar bill. Where's the other parking?" Arthur parking. <laughs> yeah, like, just, just fucking turn right here. I was like, yes. You right, got man. people yelling at you for parking. You're like, bro, I just I don't care. Like, yeah, like, I, I just not that deep. I'm, I'm making seven dollars an hour right now. You think I care where you put? Just go. Just please, please. But that's money. quite a full circle though. Like to to ha- have it move there. And that yeah. be the same place you used to work at? Honestly, it was, like, it was humbling. It almost brought, like, a tear to my eye because I was just thinking, like, back, like, when I started, like, it was such a rough job, and mm-hmm. it was so shitty, you know? And then, like, to come back, like, pray in the same grounds, like, where basically, like, my just entire work Your career. Your inception was, of the work career. Yeah, mm-hmm. it had started was, like, crazy because I'm, I mean, uh, clearly I'm Because <laughs> now you're doing well. I'm you doing know? real <laughs> well now. You know what I mean? It's like from parking <laughs> grounds to getting paid. You, you know saw one of those mean? parking so. kids, you're like, hey, here's a 20. Yeah, don't pull like, it. Hey, <laughs> it's crazy. hey you, you can still do it, dog. You can still do it. Like, <laughs> There's a way out. Humble like, beginnings. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a light at the end of the tunnel. You just got to get out of it. That's fucking wild. So it was real cool. Yeah, that's amazing. And... The um love love guess who starts a sentence and takes his wig. Yeah, Anyways, right. yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> no, it's yeah. Cool. What I was saying was, no, it's cool because you know, like even leading into the holiday, like yesterday was like was was super dope too. Because I mean, um, like generally, like it's it's written in the Quran that the day before, mm. um, the day before Eid al Adha, like rain is is a blessing, mm. like. Like, one oh, of the true. biggest blessing, essentially, wow. like... Like, rain was a blessing anywhere in the Middle East. I mean, it's dry <laughs> as hell, bro. It is dry as hell. Yeah, there ain't very much rain in Egypt, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, I was about to say, yo. It's dry. It's like DeConte's DMs. It's dry. 
<laughs> Sorry. No, yeah, it's cool because, like, uh, you know, it started raining, like, really hard randomly. And, like, DMV weather is, like, terrible. You know? Oh. It's so dry, right. it's humid, and then it's just, like. It can't make up his mind. It's yeah. miscellaneous. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just never know what you're going to get. And if it rains, it's going to rain in spurts or it's just going to rain forever. Like, last week it rained for, like, just five days straight, like, yeah. on and off. And it's weird, too, because, like, in Woodbridge, like, I, I work out in Old Town, Alexandria. And, like, the weather just, like, 45 minutes up the road is, like completely different like where it's like thunderstorming and like we're on a watch it's like a little sprinkle over there there's nothing yeah. or it's just like an you over just see across the river yeah you just yeah. see it across the river it's like an overcast or something but yeah. it was oh, cool. that's great. you're like right dmv because like across the river from you is maryland and dc technically right you could see them both yeah i'd from literally job, like right? from my job yeah. i can walk out stare at the mgm stare at the memorial bridge mm. uh look over into dc uh, or look over into bad decisions at MGM. Oh, like, hell yeah. So. Hell yeah. Don't got to be drunk to make bad decisions. No, there. you don't. No, there no, you, you go. don't. You can be as sober yeah. as you want. Hey. Well, speaking of jobs, let, let, let's get into, like, your employment history so we can get a little bit of a, a idea of, you know, who you are. Um, your first job, obviously, you just said was working, you know, parking attendant at the... What was that place called? Uh, Peanuts. Yeah, the Peanuts. Peanuts I know it is the Peanuts Stadium, was like Frederick something or whatever. Now it's I don't like know, the, yeah. uh, the Prince, I think it's the Prince William County Complex Center. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. So that was your first, what, what about your first uh, industry job, like within the restaurant service industry? Oh, man. It was actually before a restaurant, believe mm-hmm. it or not. Okay. I, uh, I graduated high school, and yeah. my mom was working at um, what's now Brookside Assisted Living. Yeah. And, um, I was sitting at the house literally doing nothing, mm. just smoking weed bullshit. Well, so were the people at the assisted living. They were doing anything. Yeah, a whole lot of it. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Cataracts didn't bother them. <laughs> like, no, a lot of cat daddies in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom was like, yo, I'm going to um, get you a job up mm. here, like, to get you out the house. So mm. I ended up plating food for yeah. the elderly. And Then you were like, man... It was, I'm man, good at this. So I went from making like like sixty three dollars every two weeks to yeah. making like a hundred sixty three dollars every two weeks. So it was <laughs> still it was still pretty Ooh. bad, but I got to work with my mom, so that was that was cool. Yeah. You know, um, you got a ride, yeah, yeah. That was you know, and oh, you know, <laughs> seeing out in that building, man, like. Mm. The elderly are the elderly, man. Yeah. You get yeah. all sorts. You get the cool ones. You get the seen out ones. You get like just everything in between. You know, no no shade at the elderly. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love them, but yeah. it was like. Super boring. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I had some pretty cool conversations with some people. I met one of the um, one of like the core investors for AOL oh, at the wow. time. Yeah, it was yeah, super super wild. A lot of like generals and like things oh, like especially that. Yeah, like, in this like, area, I feel like yeah, high ranking military yeah. officials, and they're just like, Sonny, do I got a story for you? you <laughs> I, I killed four that look <laughs> just <laughs> like you. Like, yeah. I don't want those yeah. Yeah. So. And ironically enough, like from there, I, I again, I ended up getting bored. And then the um, the uh, hire right event for Firebirds mm. came about. Uh, Firebirds were one of your first industry jobs. Firebirds was one of my first Damn. industry jobs. That's where I met not. this guy. Yeah, 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 it was one of my first industry jobs. So wow. they did the uh, they did the hire event yeah. at the um, the comfort. Was it the comfort inn or this? It was that like that one hotel across the, the street room. from Outback. Right? Okay, yeah. yeah. You remember uh, Joe Ortega? Nah. Oh, I've heard. I've heard. Big J. Yeah, he, he's the one who went to the other store. Big white. Big white guy. No, in the short, kitchen? short Spanish guy. I think he was a pervert. Nope. <laughs> oh, I, I would have remembered that. Yeah. But no, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. So I got hired uh, as a GA mm. and open open the Firebirds in Woodbridge and worked there for about. GA like, baby. Yeah, can, you, can you explain to a guest exactly? Because what, what's man? A GA? All right. Uh, GA guest assistant is essentially they explain glo- it to you like it sounds really like fancy, glor- right? they make it yeah. sound great but you're essentially a glorified busboy that's, like, <laughs> that's literally you know right. what I mean you're like work bitch number one yeah, oh man. yeah so you gotta hear the the Malal story he, he came in in a tuxedo for the for the oh I, I was there yeah. when he came in for the tuxedo he, hey shout out to money in the tuxedo man so yeah he, he borrowed <laughs> his his dad or his stepdad's his tuxedo stepdad's he borrowed tuxedo. his stepdad's tuxedo because his boys were like yo I got you a job come through Firebirds man we we got you it, it's nice yeah. he's like oh shit what well, you want yeah all right bet pulls up in a tuxedo for this restaurant job and they're like you're gonna be a guest assistant he's thinking like <laughs> VIP host lounge he's like, oh shit I'm handling like the guest is okay bet. It, it's he was a bus not ready for that. Imagine yeah. Big Money Malaw walking around with the two tray system. Oh and yeah, like busting oh, tables, talking damn. to people. Oh, they yeah, set yeah, him up. Man, crazy. Yeah. But now he bartends, so he run that bitch. So yeah, no, oh, it's great. Yeah, 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 it's it's cool. You know, so I got to see the transformation of Malaw from server to bar to, from guest assistant server to bartender, and mm-hmm. like he's still there. I mean, that's that's his Fort Knox right there. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you sure. know? Go ahead. Like, 
Got all the money locked up there. Yeah, no bull. All uh, right, so after uh, Firebirds, what was your first, like, big spot, you know? Doesn't have to be the exact next, but, like, because I know you you started getting into, like, the more high-end fine dining. Well, I was, like, a little, like, like Woodbridge, Woodbridge yeah. restaurant. Oh, you're a Woodbridge restaurant? You know, like, I, I jumped around from place to place. I actually, okay. you remember uh, Jay Reinhardt? Mm-mm. The chef? Mm-mm. Yeah, so I never meet. I never know anybody in the kitchen. So I knew you because you were dating one of the servers when you were in the kitchen in Firebirds. Yeah. I was also terrified of you. You were like the fucking rude ass, mean ass mother. I was like, hey, I, I, if I could get a, a Caesar salad, what do you want? I like, <laughs> I just, Fifty-four is missing one yeah. Caesar salad. If I could just get it on the front fly, Wait, why is it not on the ticket? I was like, it is, and somebody messed it up. Not you. Man, I was unapproachable uh, but, for a yeah. while. Yeah, 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 yeah. very, very unapproachable, unapproachable for, yeah. for for a while. I, mean, yeah. I was I was pretty mean. Yes. <laughs> the, one of the first like actual conversations he was like you, oh you know Clarissa I was like we're, we're on a soccer team together like I don't know her like that dog like I just I just we, we play soccer oh, yeah. on a team together and he was like alright cool and then he started being nice I was like oh this guy's fucking cool as hell man what the <laughs> fuck but no before that no it's funny cause like I, I got of course you know I mean the job when the job is easy it's easy to get good at it yeah. you know um, mm-hmm. and I was working close with one of the chefs cause I went from like just bussing tables and like mm. getting ice and shit from yeah. the bar and all that, all that jazz. That like he approached me one day and was like, "Would you be interested in cooking?" And ironically enough, my dad's a professional chef, but he wouldn't teach me how to cook mm. until I went out and taught myself something. Like he was like super stubborn. Like, all right, well, if you're not gonna stand yeah. with me and help me in the kitchen, because I was lazy, uh, I would never want <laughs> oh, to fucking, yeah. I would okay, never want to do anything with him in the kitchen. Cause he's just, you think I mean? Yeah. Shit, he's worse. Dang. You know what I mean? So um, uh, Chef Ramsay. Yeah. No, he's, <laughs> Chef Ramsey quit his first restaurant job because he hurt because they were too rude. He said, "Wow." The, the head chef, he's like, "I don't like that. It was a toxic environment." That was his first restaurant job, and now he built a career off of it. Yeah, I don't think Shout he lasted five yeah. minutes in the kitchen with my dad. Shit. Yeah, really. Damn. Damn. Was rough. Damn. Yeah. Right. He was he was hard. He's an international chef, you know. He worked uh, he worked a little bit of everywhere. Mm. So oh, cruise ships, gotcha. Yeah, he he did that. He worked uh, at a bunch of five star restaurants in Toronto, uh, okay. a little bit for Disney. So he's just you know he. He, he got around. Yeah. So what uh, made you move out of, not move out, what, what made you get out of the Woodbridge uh, dining scene? Who uh, broke, who I broke think it was, uh, who broke my, a couple of people, but uh, <sighs> Damn. yeah. Well, Damn. I think it was just um, a time. Like yeah. originally I got approached for, I was where, I was serving tables at Outback and I was doing fine, but I got approached by uh, uh, one of my <laughs> friends to come bartend on the wharf in D.C. Uh, I remember visiting you at that job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. his pitch was, mm-hmm. uh, you will make, double your salary and at that time i just like started managing mm. at outback so i was making like 45k a year it wasn't yeah. nothing crazy but shit when you're like 21 22 you're like oh shit yeah, yeah. i got some money now money. Right. Oh, yeah. but yeah. when no you're seeing them checks and those taxes come out you're like fuck i don't got money <laughs> I right had now money. i had money i had and to pay mr fika whatever that is yeah fika, FICA? oh fika fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Social security and healthcare wages takes all your shit. Yeah, so he was like, I can guarantee you'll make double your salary here. I was like, all right, man, if that's if that's the case, like I'll take a gamble. Like, you you show me a pay stub right now for ninety two thousand, I'll I'll quit the job. Work Ironically for you. enough, he was actually Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that okay. me over. I, w- I was doing that kid from Wolf of Wall Street, but you know, that, that works out too, who's a Jewish kid. <laughs> you tell me you made ninety two thousand. So I went out there, like that was my first jump from like Woodbridge to mm. like Okay, I remember you working there. Yeah, it was a hip spot. Up north. Yeah. And um That place was just busy with just walk by traffic. Yeah. yeah it yeah, was it was crazy. So I went in as a server, um, you know, just working probably like four or five nights a week. And I mean mm-hmm. there was cake and then I got approached to like bartend and I was like, Shit, I've never done this before. Mm-hmm. I'll do it. Now did they think you'd be a good bartender or just were the bartenders calling out? It was, I think it was, it was a combination of both. Like they were calling out and then like, I was like leading in sales and service, like on the floor. And I mean, you know, like it was, the check averages were low, you know, we're just like a pub, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it was the, at the time it was the only restaurant on the wharf that stayed open past two. Like we stayed open until three nightly. Oh, damn. Like it was the the only one that was licensed And Abra, the ABC of DC is completely different beast, man. Okay. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, I started bartending, and the culture over there was, like, get drunk and work. Mm. Yeah. Like, that was it. Like, we started yeah. off pre-shift. We did shooters and lines of shots, and then it turned into managers doing actual lines and shots, and then your Not shifty. Lines of shots? I get it. Yeah, dude. It, your shifties yeah. were crazy. Like, they had this thing where it was like, all right, you get off of work, and you can get a shift beer or a shift drink from every bartender that's working. We had three bars. They don't know. They don't know you got one from the other one. No, yeah. no. So we would just hey, go. Just got off. Just get fucking hammered. Hey, just got off. And it would be like, 
it was like four years of just bartending drunk. Like it was, yeah. your, I was your token drunk bartender. Like, Damn. yeah, it was, it was tight. And I think I remember one day I like, I got off of work and got absolutely hammered. Mm-hmm. Like drove my car from DC to Woodbridge, woke up in the morning, had no recollection of anything. Woke up in like, your car oh, in a parking lot. Time like, travel. Yeah, yeah. Bro, time so travel, I, yeah. I got back to work and was like, yeah, this isn't going to work, man. I was like, I'm going to wake up dead one day or in Oof. a ditch or. Very true. Yeah. Hey, that's smart. It was a and, dangerous road. And so now yeah, so I put in my, my two week notice and then now you're doing fine dining in now I do, Old now Town I, Alexandria? Yeah, now I do fine dining. Mm. So oh, yeah. one of my buddies came in, uh Jeffrey Morales, and was like, Hey, you should come work with me. Josh's the, little brother? Yeah, Josh's little brother. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was like, Hey, you should come work up with me at Chart House. I'm making a bunch of money, yada yada yada. And I was like, cool. Oh, Chart House right down the street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, All right, cool. You know, so I mm. put in my notice, I went up there, and that's what started like the whole Town thing mm-hmm. and Old Town, man, Gosh. is like one hell of a city, man. I'll tell you, like, oh, it's a nice, yeah, it's a nice little yeah. niche area. I love it out there, man. Yeah. I work out there, I hang out there, I bullshit out there. Like, mm-hmm. Just started playing golf out there. Not oh, that yeah. good, but. Yeah. Oh, man. Alexander, <laughs> tough, Old man. Town, Alexandria. Got yeah, you. He's playing golf. He's playing golf. Yeah. Jesus. You know what I mean? yeah. I'm not DJ Khaled, but we're getting there. <laughs> hey, TJ so, Khaled is off it. DJ we have no idea what's going on with him. Yeah. That's what's up. All right. Yeah, no, it was cool. I worked there for about three years. And then we had this GM that wasn't really a GM. Like, the restaurant was running perfect when yeah. he was upstairs doing nothing. Yeah. And I guess one day he came to his senses. He decided he was going to come downstairs and, like, actually run the restaurant and just ran it into the ground. Damn. So. Uh, you talking yeah. about Chart House? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's yeah, one a, bad one bad GM a turn fucking everything. years yeah. years and years and years of work. And he was, oh, like, yeah. he was like a grungy kid. He, like, mm. acid, lots of bullshit. You know okay. I mean? Was he, like, a... Like a son's owner or owner of son uh, Nepo kid. So ironically, he um he got the job as like managing director and like managing partners like I guess in Landry's is different from managing director, right? Mm. So managing director, uh the, the title itself oversees multiple restaurants under the same concept within that area. So mm. he would run like he had a base store that he operated out of and that was Char House. Yeah. And then he would oversee like Cadillac Ranch, uh, more inns, Mastros, and things like that. But he wasn't good at any of them, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and he got the job. Uh, Somebody can oversee a lot, but it doesn't mean that you know. Who's the, the, the guy, guy? The guy who uh, runs fucking GE you. doesn't know how to fucking you know fix an engine. He doesn't know the in and outs. He just yeah. knows. No, he's just he's just good with the numbers. Gotcha. He can crunch numbers and find discrepancies. You gotcha. Know? He knows how to find P and O sheet. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's basically yeah. it. Yeah, but so. yeah, but the people up top, that's all they care about. Yeah, yeah he hey, got that's the job. all they care about. Yeah. He got the job through like family friends, so like uh, there he was, fam- yeah, he was yeah, it was his family. His fr- his family was friends mm. with um, like the Mid Atlantic rep, like the regional manager, yeah. and their parents used to play golf together. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. so he pulled him out of like. Yeah, uh, see, now like he's trying to become that kid. He's playing right. golf too now. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, this guy sucked. He sucked. Ran everything to the ground. I'm taking lessons though with him. <laughs> uh, fucking, yo, he's got me down to a, a plus 13. I was a plus 24, but you know. My handicap yeah. is wild, dude. Oh, damn, yeah. yeah. My handicap is so wild. Damn, huh? Well, but, um, yeah. Go, go a little wild one. They teach you that in business school. But you, I've not, don't, I don't meet too many restaurant people that are like into golf like that. But, you know, you getting into the fine dining and the Nepo kids makes kind of Nepo sense. Kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. I've never well, heard that term I, before. What Nepo kids? Nepo, nepotism. You know, oh, nepotism. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. yeah. Jaden Smith, he's, yeah, he's yeah. a Nepo kid. Um, yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's an international chef father. He's a fucking Nepo kid, man. You know, <laughs> so, just I didn't realize it when I met him, but now, you know, it's starting to make sense a little bit. Yeah. Now I'm at uh, I'm at Ada's on the River mm. uh, in Old Town, Alexandria, part of Alexandria Restaurant Partners. And yeah. I mean, it's great, bro. Yeah, it's a hip spot. Awesome, yeah, it's a hip spot. It's great. It's nice. You know, dry Sounds steaks, like fresh seafood, you know, like yeah. the true, like, from scratch concept. It's cool. It's you know? named after a woman pioneer, you know? Yeah, which Ada, is wild. Ada yeah. Lovelace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. She, Who's Ada Lovelace again? I, so, I remember reading it on the menu, but. So yeah. Ada Lovelace is the, uh, the daughter of Lord Byron. Uh, poet. Nepo kid. Yeah. Nep- yeah. <laughs> Another Yo, Lord Byron, though, what's up? Yeah, Lord yeah. Byron was a... Uh, if uh, I laugh at any mortal thing, tis that I may not weep. Lord Byron, baby. Yeah, Damn. famous, famous English poet. Um, and she um, she was the daughter, uh, one of one of many daughters mm. of uh, Lord Byron. Oh, he was fucking... He wrote a lot of good yeah, poetry. Yeah, he was, he was fucking. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. I've Lord, used... Lord I've, that Byron quote I just used from him, busy. I've used the fuck, too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I laugh at... Oh, Oh my God, little Byron. So I know he was doing it. So yeah, so she was uh, 
Yeah, she worked uh, alongside Charles Babbage, mm. uh, who designed the, uh, the the first original like computer system. Uh, she helped develop the uh, first mathematical equation or analytic uh, that is used in computer systems still to this day. Damn. Wow! Holy oh, shit! Yeah. So it's they, a weird thing to name a restaurant after. Yeah. Mm. Did, yeah. Did, is there like any lineage there? Or they're just like the owner was like, "Yo, this girl help with computers." restaurant you know obviously. i never really looked too deep yeah. into it oh, sure. but okay. there's a whole bunch of bunch of rich investors you know i, I get mean, that, that yeah, got I together that. Yeah. you know they Some, around. somebody probably made their money based on that you know original algorithm formula or whatever. um so yeah we are going to try the bourbonless we're gonna try it as a cocktail though got two sober people a not sober person he likes fucking old fashions. I don't. I hate making them. I don't mind them as much. DeConte's only had one old fashioned. You said before this. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, well, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit. And then while I'm making this drink, can you, uh, you two, talk about your sober journeys? Oh hell yeah. Uh, so you say you've been uh, about three months, right? Yeah, I just crossed the three month mark on the uh, the twenty third. Twenty third. Yeah. That's good, man. So twenty three is a number every month. Yeah, yeah. What caused you to be? Uh, that was Ricky's question. Actually. Uh, it was actually like uh, it was Ramadan. Um, I was like, I drink a lot. Mm. I drink a lot. I collect a lot of bourbon. And yeah, it was like super, super casual. I, like wake up in the morning, a couple JMOs, and then go to work. And then like we taste that shit at work. So it goes from like taste testing to like, no, this is my cocktail now. You uh, know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh man, I fucked up. This full transition. Cocktail. Yeah. So it was like regular. I got off every night and like everybody knew me as the guy. Like, all right, Sam, where are we drinking at night? You yeah. know? Um, and like it, honestly, it was Fucking like all of it, all like literally. <laughs> so uh, it was like it was actually giving my mom a real hard time, you know, just because she hated to see me drunk as often. Because my mom's like super religious, yeah. you know, like I mean, can recite the entire Quran like by verse, you know. So yeah, super, she's super invested in the religion. It's dope. So she was like, "Hey, I'd love to see you get sober for the month of Ramadan." So I was like, "All right, cool," yeah. you know, like I'll. I've been wanting to do it just because. Getting up in the morning. Consider Rama done. Yeah. <laughs> and my uh, my buddy Austin has like a, a Ramadan joke. And it's, oh, really? It's pretty bad. Oh, I damn. Tell you the joke verbatim, but yeah, yeah it's, it's ironic. Um. So yeah, no, I got I got I got sober during the month. The first couple of weeks were shit because I've been drinking aggressively for yeah. like the last like couple of years, and I just kind of cut it all off cold turkey. So, uh, you know, I got past the three week mark, and I was like, all right, it's cool. This is like normal now. You know, and then, um, yeah, Ramadan ended, and, like, everybody was, like, expecting me to, like, pick up and, like, grab a drink. Yeah. I mean, I was kind of just like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to ride it out. Yeah. Cool, and that's good, man. You know, I had the, – the, the thing about getting sober was it, it didn't it didn't solve my problems. Like, Are it you allowed shaking me, or stirred guy? Dealer's choice. Okay, cool. That's yeah. a lot of sugar. I think I might shake it. Um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it didn't, um, it didn't necessarily, like – Solve my problems. Yeah. It just allowed me to finally start working on them. Gotcha. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's Instead of avoiding things, I started yeah. focusing more on them. That's yeah. good, man. That's good. That's cool. And now I'm here, like three months in. Now, honestly, like I have like no interest to drink. I think it's like more. It's like more objectified now. Like if I go on vacation, like I have a couple bottles of wine that I've, you know, I've been saving for special occasions, and then I have like a like a massive bourbon wall, yeah. like like at home, and. Um, for nobody. Yeah, if literally for nobody. So, like, you just sit there. I just go in there and look at it, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, it's sort of something you collect. It was a hobby, too. Yeah, it was, it was cool. I collect snacks, too, ironically. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found yeah, this, so like. You replaced one addiction with another? Yeah, bro, you stop drinking liquor, and then the sugar kicks in, man. Yeah. Like, that's it. I, like, wake up and have, like, Reese's for breakfast, and, like. I got a bourbon wall and a snack wall. Yeah, you know, I can. I, yeah, I feel you on that. Cause like recently, I just been really into chocolate, and I've been oh, getting those bro. caramel chocolate. We don't in the pearl. I forget what it's called. But you know how bad it is playing video games with this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, boy. I'm like, I'm like, yo. Oh, yeah. I, I was like, enemy, enemy, <laughs> pushing left side, left side, two seventy. He's like. Oh, he hears the crunching. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, shit. shit. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, yeah. He yeah. still be killing him, but I'm like, yo, come on, like, hey. you're like snacking in my ear, in my. I've been forgetting too. I'll be seeing my mic going off. I'm like, fuck. I was like, yeah. What, what am I saying? I don't. I, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Video games, but like, I have like super bad ADHD. And, like, mm. I can't sit still. So yeah, that's why I'm literally like never, never home. Gotcha. Oh, true. Yeah, because yeah. you're always out. You be outside. Outside, dude. Yeah. That's good though. That's good, man. Drunk, sober. I'm never home. 
That's good though, because I, I see some people who get sober and then they just like decide they're like become a homebody and then they get depressed and sad and like picking up a. Uh, a lot of like other things that become what I call like a dry drunk. Where I'm like, you're not really sober anymore. You're just like, uh, I'm really yeah. good at getting other people drunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm really good at getting other people drunk. <laughs> as long as you can acknowledge that, that's it's like what, wherever they go, they're like, here's. I, it was so funny because like the first week, like I would go and I'm like regular and like a lot of these bars in Old Town, like friends with a lot of these bartenders. So like I come in, and they're like, all right, here's your usual, and I'm just like. <sighs> Not today. Yeah. Anymore. I don't Not have a usual no more So I'm like looking at my buddy next to me. I'm like, but it's your day today. You know what I mean? So I'm just yeah. like sliding the drinks on over. And like by the end, I remember like the first night of Ramadan, like we went out and we went to like all the usual spots and they're all like, here you go, Sam. Here you go, Sam. And I'm like trying to explain to them. Meanwhile, they're like fucking balls of the wall busy. And they, um, yeah, they're like balls of the wall busy. And I'm just feeding him to him. Like the first night, he's like, "I don't understand how like I went out with you to hang out like on a sober, sober like adventure, and I got absolutely like plastered." Well, at least he had a fucking DD. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not too shabby. All right, so this is the Kentucky Forty Seven Spiritless. It's by Spiritless. They also make a it tequila. It's like it was like forty bucks. Like th- it was like thirty five. But yeah, Spiritless shit is not cheap. Yeah, uh-huh. you would no. think it's not cheap because you, you think you're paying for the alcohol and you're not. Like you're paying for the distill and the process. Mocktails are just as expensive as cocktails, yeah, if ridiculous. not sometimes more. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, here you go, boys. This uh, is the old-fashioned. Cheers, gents. No alcohol. It's not bad. Not at all. No, it's not bad. I mean, it's definitely missing the bourbon yeah, it's part. Missing that burn. You can it's taste missing that burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, not, okay, it just tastes like bad. a not good drink. You know, like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, but something for like, you know, just to take that uh, that edge, edge of thought yeah, of yeah, to yeah. drinking, it, it it helps. I think it's really good for. Yeah, I hear that a lot about um, people who quit cigarettes. They they pick up snacks because it's just that hand to mouth, like yeah. that, that sensation, that motion. And I get that with the drinking thing. So yeah, like that's that's like me and me and these things. Like mm-hmm. yeah. Stop smoke. I, I mean, I stopped doing everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... I don't a smoke. real sober person. Yeah, like, I don't smoke. You I get a lot of sober people who are like, yeah, I'm sober, but I still be... Uh, yeah, I don't... I'm not, I'm not doing not, everything I'm else. I'm not California yeah. sober. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I'm like... So I, I cut everything off, like, cold turkey. Yeah. Dang. But I just do, like, the nicotine. You know, yeah. I gotta have something, man. Like, yeah, you, you need, know, to, you need something. Wine, and I don't want to pick up a pack of cigarettes. Like, I've never yeah. bought a pack a day in my life. And I'm not opposed to it. Like... If you see me smoking a cigarette, I'm pissed off. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off. Yeah, my girl's like that. I see her smoking all the time when she hangs out with me. <laughs> 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 nah, she do. Yeah, it's pretty well. No. Nah, I feel you on that, though. I, I've fallen back more. I think I'm smoking more cigarettes than I normally do since quitting drinking. Uh, I try to, like, mitigate it with, like, chewing straws. Like, that's, like, my I think, part. like, that's... chewing straws? I chew straws. Yeah. I used to chew straws. That's got to be, like, one of the hardest things to kick. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, drinking can be, you know what I mean? But I don't know, just from, like, personal experience being around people, I feel like the cigarettes is, like, far more challenging. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I would agree with that. I tried for a couple days, and, man, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it? Nah, I couldn't do it. Okay, well... Wasn't the biggest fan of that, but I also have some non-alcoholic beers for you boys as well. Uh, we used to have, well, we still have some of the lights uh, from the uh, Athletic Brand Brewing, which is, you know, a company we reached out to that hasn't responded to us. Boom. Um, we're also not that athletic, so, you know, I'm sure they don't want these lack of abs being on their uh, <laughs> For You page. Athletic Brand, check out my fucking keg. Um, but uh, would you guys would rather have the light or the golden ale? I think you said you yeah, wanted golden I'll ale. Do the golden. I'll do the golden. Yeah. We'll do three goldens. Uh, what was um, uh, what's that one? Duvel, Duvel makes a really good gold now. I was at a uh, Chaplin's in keep DC, the on. like two days ago, and they had this like non-alcoholic IPA, and I swear you could not tell the difference. Yeah, he had a. I gotta get the, the name hazy, of it, right? but yeah, yeah. 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 when we were out last uh, over the weekend, uh, he had the hazy uh, athletic, and he's like, "Yeah, that's actually pretty good." I was like, "Yeah, athletic makes a pretty solid one." Yeah, had from what I'm time. told, I've never drank these ever. Yeah, Berto does one hell of an advertisement with these things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he does. Yeah, we. I mean, we we sent the whole package together to athletic, and they did not even like the post. <laughs> so you know, Berto's also not what you would want as the face of athle- <laughs> athletic brand. He was, a bigger guy, so you know, but he's lovable. But you know, we'll figure it out. All right, so uh-huh. this is the athletic golden upside dawn. Upside dawn. Cheers. Uh-huh. Cheers. Dude. 
It's not bad at all. No, not at all. That's it's actually good. really good. If you yeah. told me there was alcohol there, I'd be a bit. <clears throat> yeah. I'm also not the biggest beer guy, so yeah, I like yeah. old now. So this is about what I, I used to be a big beer guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, everything, which is funny. So, um, he, you know, we, we use my produ- we use uh, my sister as uh, a booking liaison. So I have her. I, I send anybody her number. She get, she then sends me a dossier on the guests, and <laughs> your dossier was like, can talk about anything, is sober, but would drink tequila, bourbon, old fashions, Miller Lite, Coronas, <laughs> IPAs, Hazy's. I, like, I was like, did you just? You could have just said everything, but you Bro, like I was, listed I'm a fish, everything. Dude. I'm, yeah. a fish. I'm a, I'm a yeah. fucking. That's how I knew you had not, uh, an actual alcohol problem. If someone's just like, yeah, you know, I like bourbons and this, I like white claws and this, you were like, it got alcohol. If it's in front of me, I will do I will everything yeah. but vodka. Yeah. yeah. Like, have you taken a beer mat shot before? Oh, God. What? A New oh, Jersey. No, break. no, dude. Yeah. No. No beer mat, no bar mat. Like, no, man. No. <laughs> it, I, it's crazy because I've actually seen a couple people in bungalows do. Um, Bar mat shots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to go visit yeah. Clarissa like on Friday nights. It'd be like the end of the night, like two o'clock in the morning. They'd like, it's always like one drunk motherfucker that comes in there and is like, <laughs> I'll do it. And I'm like, oh my God. Uh, that, that's was, funny. They know it. I've, I've given it to people without them knowing quite a few times because they were dickheads. Um, and that's my little slight revenge on them. But let, 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 that's, that's some enemy <laughs> that's behavior. That's a wild way to get revenge. That's, that's some enemy <laughs> behavior that I'm on. And, you know, we have confirmed I am a bar enemy. Let's actually get into the questions here for the final segment. Uh, bar enemy, bar friend. We'll do a quick 15 on that. Um, go down to the, yeah, it's on the bottom right. Oh. Google Chrome's. Chromies. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So this is Bar Enemy, Bar Friend. Let's tell the Sam the segment here. He, he obviously knows, but we'll do it anyways. I didn't do the clicker to start the show. That's going to fuck up. That's going to fuck up my shit. I don't know why I carried it. Okay. Bar Enemy, Bar Friend. What we're going to do is ask you a series of questions. Because you are in the industry, they are going to be industry-based questions. Through these questions, we're going to figure out whether or not we want you to work at our bar, what we would consider a bar friend. If you're a bar enemy, that doesn't mean we don't like you. It doesn't mean we don't want you working at the bar. Well, that's exactly what it means. That just means, you know, like, maybe, you know, our, our, our styles don't work together. I have to say that because some people get really offended. When I'm like, you're, hey, I think you're bar enemy. They're like, what the fuck? You know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not that sensitive. Yeah, yeah perfect, man. perfect, perfect. All right, cool. Uh, let's go with some questions. Uh, well, we already did the silver one. Uh, Ricky asks, why were you so angry at Firebirds? LOL. He put the LOL in it, too. I think because my girlfriend had a big butt, and I thought everybody was trying to sleep with her. Oh, true. Uh, uh, I'll do it. It makes sense why you're so mad at Ricky. Ricky is one of those guys who's just like, but that ass, though. <laughs> that ass, though. <laughs> he, he had that yeah, conversation yeah. with you over the weekend, correct? Oh, my God. So yeah, many times. Had a big old ass. Like, mm, I think it, it, was, is. it was present. Mm. And yeah, he, he is into thick Latinas. So that, makes, that makes sense why you're so angry at him. I thought you were just angry in general, but. No, nah, yeah. it was like. I guess angry and then like insecure, mm. you know. Mm. Past that now, but yeah. yeah, at the time. But you're in the restaurant industry. You I'm not insecure at all anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. I got over. Don't it. you look at my girlfriend's ass. <laughs> <laughs> the one over. I'm here. looking at it. <laughs> hey, what are you saying about restaurant industry? It's the restaurant industry. Yeah. So you, I mean, that's it's kind of understandable too. It's a fucking cesspool. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it, it's it's tough because uh, I the lady I'm seeing. Um, not in the industry, has never worked in the industry, and all she knows about the industry is just we're all fucking each other. Yep. Yeah. And so it's just like, 100%. she walks in and she's well, like, kudos which, one to you, man, which one of these bitches? Which one of these bitches? A lot of the women I run into these days, like, they don't want to be in oh, a yeah. relationship with somebody oh, that's no. still in the yeah. industry. Oh, don't worry. She tells me all the time, she's like, I never wanted to be with you. I was like, I don't think that's as big of a compliment as you think mm-hmm. it is. She's like, I'm just saying, I never wanted to, be, I never wanted to date, you know, a bartender. I was like, cool. Well, you are. Are you happy now? She goes, I fucking can't believe I'm doing this right now. I'm like, all right, man. You're like, come on. Can we can we get past the negative part? Like, is there some sort of positive? It's so, like the, yeah. they go to work and it's like the moment you speak to somebody, it's like the jealousy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you can see it when uh, new people get hired. You're like a couple days or even the same day, you see the girlfriend or boyfriend walk in. Like, you're like, just to scope out. You're like, oh, all right. Hey. Yeah. hey, you guys know the new girl? How do you know her? Huh? <laughs> is she a slut? It's like the first question everybody asks, like, do yeah. you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, right, it's, cool. yeah it's, it's, it's always fun working in a restaurant industry when a new girl comes in because you have to get somebody to ask, but it can't be too overtly obvious. So when we worked at Firebirds, I was See, very I'm like, like, fuck that. I'll yeah. just go up and ask him, like, yo, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's, it, that's when, when that guy that. asks and he turns around and everyone, like, you give him the nod? No. It's way too obvious. So I was always, I was the guy who was saying, like, 
hey, let's go find out about her. I was like, all right, cool. And then I come back with like a whole dossier. I was like, all right, boys. <laughs> She's only had four boyfriends. She's only fucked like six guys. She doesn't do anal. And half the guy's like, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Just, uh, also, also, really religious. The other half leaves. I'm like, okay. Well, damn. Down to two. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's some guys out there that are like, they're on it, man. Like, oh, they, yeah. They'll push past the curve. They don't give a shit. Like, oh, yeah. Right, especially, yeah. yeah. In restaurants, boyfriends and marriages don't exist. Oh, no. Fuck. Like, that, no, that shit's yeah. not a thing. Not terrible. Existing. You're terrible. You guys are all terrible. People. I know. You should respect that a little bit more. I mean, we, do, we try to. Yeah. We try to. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not one to ruin a home, or mm. at least uh, try not to ruin it. Hey, what's broken's way. broken. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what's broken is broken. <laughs> the guy is so terrible. All right, I learned uh, that one from Mala. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I learned that one from Malaw. Yeah, Honey Pack Malaw, we love him. Um, I have a question for you. Um, as a sober person now, what do you think is the most interesting sport event to go to? Because I, I used to always say baseball was one of the best, but not for the sport. It was strictly for the drinking, for the walking, riding, drinking. Baseball is like the best thing to go yeah. get, like the best sport to go get drunk at. Yeah. 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 Without a doubt. Yeah. yeah, but you're um, sober now, so like, would you want to go sit in a baseball game sober? I just eat a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I eat which is still fun. But yeah. yeah, but then like you can only eat so much. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Just like bring on the Budweiser. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, damn, that's a that's a real good question. I'd probably say um, basketball or hockey. Okay, yeah. I can yeah. respect that. Yeah. Yeah, because hockey, like the, I get probably, I'd probably say a hockey game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The energy at hockey games is just wild. Oh yeah, you know? hockey, yeah, like, drunkers over hockey, hockey games. Hockey games is just wild, wild. especially when you yeah. get like good seats, like up at center ice or like mm-hmm. even down like by the gate. Like that shit is wild. Like mm-hmm. it's it's fucking intense. Oh man. Cut you there. Questions <laughs> out there. You want to ask him one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got caught in the middle of a. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what, when was the last time you threw up on? Uh, Threw up on a at at a night out. You put on a night. Out. Oh man! <laughs> I don't know where that question man, is. Man, this was a wild one. It was actually like back when um, 1799 Prime opened up in Old Town. 1799 Prime. Yeah, it was a uh, it's a uh, black owned Prime Steakhouse. Sorry. Yeah, um, 1799 Prime was actually like the last time like I had a drunk episode where I threw up, and I mean. We were in, like, rare form. Like, I came in, we were taking shots of Klaus Azul in 1942 before we got to the bar or before we got to the table. And um, I actually brought my my buddy Ant with me. He does tattoos. Um, And, uh, yeah, we got to the table. I brought, like, uh, me and a couple other people we were with, or me, Ant, and Crystal, we brought a couple bottles of nice wine. Mm -hmm. So, like, we were, I mean, we were deep, dude. Like, it was the three of us. I think we probably blew close to like sixteen hundred dollars that night on dinner <laughs> and like I was just <laughs> on one man. Yeah, like bro. between you and you said three friends? Two other people. <laughs> yeah. We probably had like three <laughs> bottles of wine, a whole lot of nineteen forty two, and then I think I ordered probably like seven hundred dollars worth of food that I didn't eat. <laughs> oh like, my god. I was just Dang. so fucking drunk. And then I got like this I got back to my uh, yeah the, the dry aged shit but <laughs> Uh, I got back to my homegirl's house, and then I fucking passed out. I woke up, and, like, I didn't even remember throwing up, but there was just, like, a pool of this shit everywhere. It was just, like, Cabernet. Uh, just Cabernet oh everywhere. Why, yeah, why like, throw up is the And I was, like, like looking bite. over, and, like, I was, like, yo, where's my phone? So I, like, pick up my watch and, like, hit the little button to, like, see where it is, and all I see is just, like, this faint white light, like, of this phone covered in vomit. Oh. Had a fucking Louis Vuitton wallet covered in vomit. Oh like, the damn. wallet itself was tainted. I could not use the wallet oh, anymore. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. like, mm. Done. yeah, alcohol in chunks. Yeah. Just all over it. Like, it was just so bad. Like, oh. had to replace a carpet, a mm. wallet. I had to live with the phone. So I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't replace the phone. Damn. Yeah, it was... It was bad. You think it was? You think it was the wine and liquor mix? Man, let me tell wine you what the wine me. do, bro. Yeah. Then I started smoking wine a little bit of weed. weed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yo, hey. shout out to Two Chains though, because Two Chains told me one time, man. Let me tell you what that wine do, man. You start mixing wine with some things, man. You went for a time, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, we went, we went all across the board. It's one of those nights, fucking expensive tequila, yeah. bourbon, red wine. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out Orange Swift, man. He's got some good wine, man. Well, speaking on benders, what's the uh, the longest bender you've ever been on? Four like days, an actual bender. Four days. Four days. Four, is day. four days. Right. Yeah, whole lot of ecstasy. Mm-hmm. Whole lot of coke. Just going at it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Any I reason? Was... Oh, no, nah, dude. Yeah. I I got like um, 
I got fortunate enough to get put in a situation where I had an abundance of ecstasy. Mm-hmm. And I, I was popping them shits like Tic Tacs. Dude. Dang, dang. Like little LV MasterCard pills. And it was just rolling. Yeah. You know? And then I don't ever get in a hot tub on anything like that. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't realize it's like a thing, dude, yeah. but it drops your internal body temperature. You know what I mean? So oh. you just end up fucking blasted, man. Hey, Bardo sip of the day. Don't, don't get don't. in a hot tub on ecstasy. <laughs> 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 don't do it. Just don't do it. There you go. All right. Damn. Um, I, I have a question. Well, when you were drinking, when you pull up to the ABC, do you park the car or do you just pull up on the curb, run in and run out? No, nah, man. That's some Maryland shit, man. You got to park the car, dude. You got to park the car? got to park the car, Okay. Man. All right. Like, man, in Maryland, there's a drive through <laughs> Maryland, Maryland yeah, they, they don't the even only, have an ABC. They it's the only place it. where you can pick up, pick up liquor, pick up weed, maybe a prostitute, and get shot all in the same go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out PG County. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Chevrolet's <you>. finest. <laughs> okay. uh, I got a question. Yeah. So uh, at what age did you first get drunk? Uh, I want to say 16. No. Yeah, 16. Yeah, what was the case? Just the homies? You stole some shit from your parents? Like no, what? no, no. Believe it or not, I'm not going to name any names, but I used to go into Bricks and drink all the time. <laughs> and there was one bartender that was really cool, one of my boys, because he used to buy weed from him, and he was like, yo, I'm trying to go out and grab drinks. I'm like, well, neither of us can get it, and nobody at the time wanted to buy us alcohol from the liquor store. So he'd be like, no, 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 bro, it's cool. We can just go up to Bricks, one of the bartenders and my homies, and he'll hook us up. Yeah, like, yeah Trevor got you. That, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Shout out to Trevor, man. Shout, Shout out. out Shout out Trevor, I haven't man. seen that guy in a long time. Man. He moved away. Yeah, and he was, he I remember the first time he came up to me and served me, he was like, I already know what the deal is. Just don't act like an idiot, and you can come here as many times as you want. He was like, I got you. I was like, But if you blow my shit up, we're going to have some problems. Yeah, I remember uh, one time there was this girl that I had been serving for like probably a year now. I knew she worked at Bricks. Uh, Bricks was doing like their holiday party. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. And they're all cool. And it was, it was a great event. We always made a bunch of money on it. Um, and he goes, hey, yo. Oh, hold on. Let me do this. He goes, hey, yo. He's like, don't serve her tonight. I was like, what do you mean don't serve her tonight? He goes, this. I was like, she's coming in. They're doing the holiday party. Everyone's going to be there. He goes, don't serve her. I was like, why not? He was like, all right. So she's not of age. I was like, bro, I've been taking care of her for like a year. I only took care because I saw you take care of her, and I was like, oh, obviously she's of age. He's like, she's not of age, and her manager's going to be there. If her manager comes to the bar and buys her a shot, that's the signal that it's cool. I was like, fucking jeez, man. Like, I, I felt so uncomfortable. I was like, I've been taking care of this. Like, I've had a few different guests where like a year has gone by. I've been taking care of them. Then they come in. It's my 21st <laughs> yeah. birthday. Come on, It's man. crazy because I yeah. see that all the time in Old Town now. Yeah. You know, all oh, the yeah. time. It's like, yeah. school let out, man. It's oh. like, Rich White the, goes, the bouncers are like, yeah. here's my Venmo. Damn. Damn. You're good to go. Damn. Yeah. Once you get in the door, you're green. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Money yeah. talks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got like one, two more questions. Uh, Jesus. Decante, what do you got? Um, Have you ever been, oh, have you ever had a one night stand from someone you met at a bar before? Yes. A couple times. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. You met him at the bar or like Are you, you barked at, as you were? Yeah. No, no, no. It was okay. crazy. It was, it was like different all, I think it was every time I was getting off of work, I was at a bar local and, mm. and just spark wild conversation and boom. Damn. You know. It's those eyes. It happens a lot in Old Town. Mm. It, does. it happens a lot in Old Town. Yeah. Okay. What's up, bro? Isn't uh, uh, what's the diversity out there in Old Town? Money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, there's a lot, money. There's a lot of money out there. Money. You have, you have, you know, like a substantial amount of diversity, but it's prominently dominated by rich white people. Gotcha. Uh, have Get you, you one of them families, uh, man? <laughs> Get one of those families. One of them moms, man. In uh, in your in your heyday of just being a a drunk mess, would you ever ring in or as a bartender make a drink on accident, quote unquote, knowing that you could crush it? No, nah, because I knew they were coming eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I, we would, if it wasn't the test cocktails, it would be like, you know, some guests would be like, yeah, gotcha. I wish you could just drink this with me. And in DC, it was yeah. crazy. They would just buy us shots. Damn, fuck it. Doing shots together. Because you can drink on the job in DC. 
Like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, encourage, right. encourage. Yeah, they yeah. encourage it. It's like if you two come in, you sit down at a table, you're like, yo, you're cool, man. Let's take a shot together. I'm like, fuck yeah, what are we drinking? Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Uh, every now and then I'll get a server at uh, the bar I work at that'll ring in like double gins. And I'm like, yo, who's this is like the seventh double gin. Who's mm-hmm. crushing these double gins? And he's like, uh, I was like, yeah, okay, I know what's going on. I was, like, yeah. I was like, uh, at least you're paying for the liquor. Uh, at least you're paying for the liquor. I appreciate that. So, you know, that, that's Yo, nice. at one time at Char House, yeah. it, like, Char House was a lawless land, dude. Yeah. Like, we would just go up to the bartenders and call and be like, yo, middle of the shift, just bomb drinks. Like, Hell yeah. Okay. Love that. Love that. All right, uh, Decante, let's put it to a vote. What do you think? We got bar friend here, bar enemy? Uh, I'm going to say bar friend, man. No, yeah, why is that? Why is that? I say bar friend because he's been in the industry so long. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't mean shit. Yeah, what do you mean? I don't, don't mean, mean shit. <laughs> I don't mean shit. I worked in the industry a long time. I ain't no fucking friend of nobody. Uh, I'm giving him props just for pulling every time he goes, uh, yeah. he's at a bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's <laughs> I'm giving him props on that. This is, this is the men perspective here. Oh, no, he's a great dude. He always pulls bitches. Like, it's facts. They see that, the wins. Yeah. They don't always see the saying. losses. He man. doesn't let go. the lonely ladies <laughs> They, they the don't bar. always see the losses, <laughs> dude. Awesome. They don't always see the losses. That's for sure. <laughs> Judge me about my wins, man. Judge me about my wins. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm so, so I have to go with... You were a reformed bar enemy. But like, <laughs> the fact that you're sober now, I mean, the, the amount, you know, we talked a lot about religion today that I, I you know, I, I knew I knew you were affiliated. I didn't know, like, you know, as as far as you're taking it now, I'm, I'm mad respectful of that. I'm a son of a pastor. I see you're going through some mad changes. I, I love that for you. But, I mean, I've, I've seen you in the middle of Bender sometimes. Like, when, when, when we were at Tandoori that night, I was like... Oh, Sam's on it. Bro, that's because this Sam's fucking... Dude, that night we were in Tandoori, it, bro. I forgot. Yeah. DJ Brian comes over and he's like... I didn't know that he was really close friends with one of my boys. Yeah. So he comes over and he has this like fucking gallon of like Don Julio. And he's like, here you go, homeboy. Like, And we're just... I'm just walking around fucking Tandoori with a fucking half gallon of Don Julio. <laughs> like, He's, he's like, friend, if you drink from the, the bar, bar, drink from the, the bottle, drink from the bottle. I'm like, well, shit. Brian's a monster sometimes. Damn. Like, yeah, just crushing it. Although, and that was my first time at Tandoori. So imagine walking into a restaurant <laughs> called Tandoori and it's like just yeah. fucking bachata theme. Like, yeah. made no sense. Yeah. Made no Absolutely sense. Absolutely no sense. Yeah. But e- even outside of that, like every time I see him uh, before then, he was always just like, you, hey, you need to come with me to Alexandria. Look, whole, hit Old Town, hit every fucking, every bar, I got you. And Damn. it was just like, it was such that energy where I was like, this guy's a menace. I love it. I love that he's my menace because you need a menace on the team. Man, bro, we one. drink for free yeah. in a lot of places. And so that's, yeah. yeah. But seeing you know, seeing the growth, I see you now. That's that's amazing. I love to see it. You know, come back when Ricky's on the show because he he's got a lot of questions for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. Missed you today, dude. Missed you today. I missed is a word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ricky. I just like shit on him during the show. It's because the women like him on the show. That's all it is. So we got to shit on him a little bit. Um, yeah, but now I, I, you know, I want to continue to see growth. Obviously, have you come back you are a you're working on it you're still bar enemy you're still bar enemy it's only been three months it's only been three months for some right yeah, three months is a good long time man three like months you said, is a good time yeah. you might weeks. catch me in a cocktail convention next month in new orleans i will <laughs> say yeah. are you talking about tales of a cocktail yeah tales of a cocktail oh, yeah Hell i think yeah. i'm going to tales of a cocktail yeah, look, look out for uh yeah. f scott marshall my boy scotty or uh joe p he, he's there word word yeah yeah i it's it's one thing i want i've been talking i want to take this show there and go, you know, interview some people there. But that will be my drink. first time in New yeah. Orleans. Oh, yeah. true. That'll, That'll be my blast, first bro. time in the know you. Have a great time. Yeah, Tales of Cocktail is wild. Anyways, uh, let's pull out the uh, video, the last one out. This is your shirt. Tight. I don't want one of those. Yeah, I know. I've seen the hoodies. The hoodies were super fire. Oh, we got hoodies. Oh, let, let me. I got, I got hoodies. I got hoodies for you. Go ahead. That's, that's fine. Just get to the beginning of the video. And then, okay. and then we'll run that. Yeah, I got I got mad hoodies left over from the uh, show. So we'll figure that out. Appreciate you coming on. Degregated and humiliated broke my spirit. That is literally my piece of fucking stuff. You have to give 100% dick. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm a pillow princess. He's a pillow. <laughs>